with sets including the I and the wing T. On defense, they run variations of the 5-2 and 4-3, and they like to stunt. Kite has led Iowa Valley to an 82-34 record in 13 years, at 71%, and into the state playoffs three times, 1981 in Class 1A, 1986 in Class 2A, and 1989 in Class 1I. The Tigers reached the uh, semifinals in 1981. Uh, we'll be back in just a second here and give you a few more stats from the uh, District 6 uh, Conference. All right, we'll try to give you a few stats here from uh, Class 1A District 6 football. Uh, the record of West Branch, of course, they're in first place in the district. They're 4-0 in the district and 6-0 overall. We find Iowa Valley in third place. They're 3-1 in the district and 3-3 overall. Uh, in the rushing department, Kevin Stout is in fifth place. 46 attempts, 332 yards, a 7.2 yard average. In sixth place is Ryan Glazebrook, uh, 45 uh, carries, 296 yards, and a 6.6 yard average. Uh, passing efficiency leaders, uh, surprisingly enough, we have the uh, top two passers in District 6 here tonight. Ryan Gordon is in first place, 28 attempts, 45 completion, or excuse me, 28 completions from 45 attempts and 498 yards. And Josh Miller from Iowa Valley has uh, 31 completions out of 62 attempts for 540 yards. Uh, we also have the leading receiver in, in uh, District 6A. That's Fletcher Johnson from Iowa Valley. He's got 16 receptions for 355 yards and he's probably one of the best that we'll see all year. Team statistics on offense, West Branch is still in first place, 240 yards rushing, 129 yard passing, a total of 369.5 yards. Here again, Iowa Valley's in third place, 176 yards rushing, 136 yards passing, and 312.3 yards. On defense, once again, the Bears rank number one, 51 yards against the rush, 64 yards against the pass, a total of 115 yards. Iowa Valley, number two, 167 yards rushing, and 10 yards passing, 176.3 total yards. So we'll be back in just a second to bring you the game. All right, West Branch has won the toss, elected to receive. They're at the north end of the football field. They'll be going south. Stout takes it on about the West Branch 15. We have a little reverse. McNamara has a football down the left side. He could go. He's out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. They'll be starting from their own 47 here. First offensive series of this football game. Hand off over the left side, and the, he's forward for, uh, we'll call it, uh, four. All right. We think Ryan Gleisberg carried on that first carry. Second down, we'll call it six. Ball just about on the 50. This time, the handoff to Stout around the right side. He squirts through there. He's got a first down, down to about the uh, Iowa Valley 40. Bears pick up their first first down of the evening. Ball on the Iowa Valley 40-yard line. As we said before, very cold here tonight. Hand off to Glazebrook over left side. Got a big hole. He's down to about the 30. All right, Bears set to go. Second down, uh, we'll call it a foot here. Ball just on the uh, north side of the 30-yard uh, line. Beating in motion to the right. Gordon back to throw, under pressure, and he sacked all the way back to about the uh, 46. Gordon sacks for about an 11-yard loss, brings up a third down on the, uh, we said 46, but it's a 42, Peden in motion to left. Gordon rolls left, has time, looks downfield, looks, looks, then throws, and it's intercepted by Iowa Valley. Back up field, and he's down at about the Iowa Valley 36-yard uh, line. We'll get to see Iowa Valley's offense here for the first time this evening after the Gordon interception. Ball on about uh, their own 36-yard line here, first and 10, their first series uh, on offense. Back to throw, back to throw under pressure. Down he goes at about the uh, 26. Big sack there by Kyle Jones brings up a second and 22 here with 8.46 to go. First quarter, no score. Ball on about the Iowa Valley, we'll call it 25-yard line. This time the handoff over the left side, there's a little room, squirts through there, and he's out to about the uh, 30. Third down and 18 here for Iowa Valley. Uh, Iowa Valley, a well-coached football team. Coach Kite has had a lot of success here. Back to throw, looks over the middle, under heavy rush from Peterson, down he goes. Schmiller, number seven, the uh, Iowa Valley quarterback, sacked all the way back to about the 24, so it's fourth and 26. Number 70, Greg Jones to punt for Iowa Valley. It's a good snap. 
Punts away, and it's a good one. High spiraling kick. Stout takes it at about the 45. Straight up field. Has a little room. Stays on his feet. Takes a tremendous hit at the 45 of Iowa Valley. Kevin Stout, a hard-nosed young football player, takes a tremendous hit at the Iowa Valley 46. So it's first and 10 bears, 6.49 to go. Beaten in motion to the left. Hand off to Stout over the right side. Squirts through there, follows his blocker. Still on his feet. He could go. He's gone. He's gone. Touchdown, Bears. Touchdown, Bears. No flag. West Branch strikes quickly here with 6.38 to go in the first quarter. Kevin Stout, that was a one-play drive, a 46-yard run by Stout. Spots down, kicks up. Sorensen's kick is good. Bears lead 7-0 with 6.38 to go in the first quarter. All right, Kevin Stout set to kick off for the Bears. Good kick right down the middle. Iowa Valley takes it at about their 15-yard line. Up the left side and uh, still on his feet out to about the Iowa Valley, we'll call it 30. Messenger on the stop for the Bears there. Iowa Valley first and 10 at their own 30-yard uh, line. Two wide outs to the right. Bears defensive secondary doing a good job. Straight ahead and uh, maybe four yards. All right, twin receivers to the right side of the field again on second and six. Ball on about the Iowa Valley 34, 5.37 to go, first quarter. Straight ahead, quarterback sneak, and he's on his feet for maybe two. Nice amount of Bear fans up here tonight. You look over there and the bleachers are about full. A nice tribute to the West Branch fans. It's a long ways out here in these plains. Third down, we'll call it four. A little misdirection, we have a flag, and he's gonna be downed. Illegal procedure was called uh, against Iowa Valley. Uh, they lost about two yards anyway, so it brings up a fourth and five. Once again, number 70, Greg Jones, back to punt from Iowa, for Iowa Valley. He'll be on his own 30. Stout and Messenger back for the Bears. They're standing at about the uh, Bear 32. Good snap. Kicks away. It's a wobbly kick off to the right side. Uh, Bears should just stay away here. Hits it about the Iowa Valley 45. Takes the Iowa Valley roll to the Iowa Valley 49. Once again, the Bears with great field position. Ball on the Iowa Valley, 49. This is their third series of the evening. Peden in motion left. Glazebrook on his feet, on his feet. About, uh, we'll call it six. Glazebrook uh, picks up seven on that carry. Ball at about the Iowa Valley, 43. Peden in motion. Heads inside, stout on his feet, on his feet. Down to uh, close to the first down. Bears faced with a third and one. Uh, they spot the ball back on the other side of the uh, Iowa Valley 40. 3.30 to go first quarter. Hand off to Glazebrook. Breaks through there. Still on his feet. Great run by Glazebrook. Bears pick up the first and 10. That's their third first and 10 of the evening. Glazebrook's one of the best north and south runners you're ever going to see. First and 10 here. Bears on the Iowa Valley uh, 34. Inside to Stout. On his feet. Behind his blockers. He's down close to another first down. All right, Stout picks up nine. Second down, one ball on the uh, Iowa Valley 25. Quick pitch to Stout, and boy, he's outside, cuts it back inside, down to about the 10. Stout picks up 13 yards on that last carry. Bears pick up their fourth first down here. First and 10, just about on the 11-yard uh, line. 2.04 to go first quarter. Straight ahead to Glazebrook, behind his blockers, and he's going to be down. We're going to call it the five. They're set to go here. Second down, five yards. They can get a first down without scoring, believe it or not. Hand off to Stout. Cuts it inside behind his blockers. Touchdown, Bears. Kevin Stout, a second touchdown of the evening. Stout has his second touchdown of the evening, a six-yard run. John Sorensen in to attempt the extra point. Gordon to hold. Spots down, kicks up. No good. Stout set to kick off here. Bears lead 13 to nothing with 126 to go, first quarter. High kick down the left side, hits at the 15, taken at the 10, straight up the middle by Iowa Valley. Then he sneaks back outside, and that's Fletcher Johnson. He's going to be down at about the 25. Iowa Valley takes over on their third possession of the uh, first half here. They have three downs and punt, three downs and punt. This is their third possession with a minute four to go, first quarter. Hand off over the uh, left side, and he's through there, and he could go. 
Out to about the uh, Iowa Valley 40. Iowa Valley picks up their first uh, penalty of the evening, a five-yard illegal procedure. That was a big call since they had their first first down of the evening. Ball back on about the Iowa Valley uh, 15. A quick pitch to the left, almost bobbled, and uh, Kevin Stout out there. Iowa Valley picks up three, second down 12 here. And that's the end of the fight. We're set to go here. Iowa Valley second and 12. First play of the second quarter. Ball on about their own 24. Back to throw. A horn goes off. We don't know what that was. Under heavy pressure, and Bowie is the guy that uh, nails him. Big sack by Cliff Bowie. Brings up a third and 23 for Iowa Valley. Back on their own 14. Uh, quick kick and almost blocked. Yeah, I think it might have been partially blocked by number 45, John Sorensen, with great field position after the, uh, we don't know if Sorensen got a piece of that ball or not, but he was real close on the Iowa Valley 34. Beating in motion to the right. This time Gordon runs the option, hit immediately, but stays on his feet, and he's going to get a couple. That offensive, uh, offensive line of the Bears doing a great job. Kirk Anderson in center. Scott at tight end. Lloyd Jones, Grimm. Peterson, Gordon uh, bootlegs to the right. We have a flag. Uh, we don't know who it's against, but takes it inside and uh, on his feet all the way down to about the 15. We'll wait and see what the flag is. Bears pick up their first uh, penalty of the evening, a five-yard illegal procedure penalty. McNamara brings the play, and now we're back uh, second and 14. Ball on about the Iowa Valley 38. A little reverse handoff to Peden, and boy, he has room. Cuts it back inside, stays on his feet to about the 30. 21, Andy Messenger now in the game, brings the play in. Third down, six here. Ball on the Iowa Valley, 30. 9.26 to go, second quarter, Bears lead 13 nothing. Stout inside, stays on his feet, behind his blockers. Ooh, he takes a vicious hit at the 30. Fourth down, uh, we'll call it six. Ball on the Iowa Valley, uh, 30. They need to get to just over the 25. Peden in motion to the left. Hand off inside, a little misdirection. There's a fumble, and Iowa Valley has it. Iowa Valley recovers the fumble on their own 29. They've not had good field position there. Their four series have started on their own 38, their own 30, their own 26, and now their own 29. With 8.27 to go, second quarter. Hand off over the left side to number 34, Brent Brawl. Brawl picks up four. Second and six. Ball on the Iowa Valley 32-33 yard line. Hand off over the middle for maybe uh, three more. Third and three here. Big test for the Bear defense. To throw has a man out here in the flat and that's uh, their uh, all conference. Uh, and he gets away, that's Johnson and he's all the way down to about the West Branch uh, 46. Iowa Valley completes his first pass of the evening and gets his first first down. Ball on the West Branch 46. Their first penetration in the West Branch territory. Handoff over the left side to number 32, Josh uh, Udipol. Udipol gained a yard on that play. Second down nine, 6.15 to go. First half, clock running. Second and nine. Hand off over the right side, straight ahead block, and he busts out in the open, and the number 45, Sorensen, probably saves a touchdown there. <laughs> Iowa Valley picking up their second first down, mounting their first good drive of the evening here. Ball down on the bare 27-yard uh, line here, just straight ahead blocking by Iowa Valley. Nothing fancy. Quarterback sneaks straight ahead, and he's going to have about five. <laughs> Miller gets six on that last carry, second down four. Well, just about on the Bear 20. Bears getting a good test here tonight. Iowa Valley, a very good football team. Hand off over the right side, straight ahead again for about three. Third and two here for Iowa Valley. But they're in four down territory at this point. 426 to go, first half. Bears lead 13 to nothing. Third and one. And uh, we have some type of flag. Some for Iowa Valley. 
Iowa Valley picks up a costly penalty, an illegal procedure penalty. So that's their second penalty of the first half and uh, brings up a third and six, six instead of a third and one. This time uh, rolls left, looks at uh, Fletcher. The ball's wobbling. McNamara's over there on coverage and uh, almost intercepted. Fourth and six for Iowa Valley after uh, Miller's uh, pass goes incomplete. Uh, Chris McNamara doing a great job on coverage there. Went right up over the top of uh, Johnson and almost got the interception. Uh, some type of uh, pass, and they have a man out there in the open end. It's incomplete. Twenty-four. All right, another nice play by the Bear defense. They take over on downs on their own 24-yard line. 3.54 to go first half. Quick pitch to Stout, and boy, he has some room. Cuts it back inside, and he could go down that right side. All the way down to the Iowa Valley 40. Stout's great run there, negated by a holding penalty, but the uh, it was assessed from the point of the infraction, so the Bears got their fifth first down anyway. Gives Stout credit for 10 yards. Hand off to, uh, to Glazebrook straight up the middle on his feet, and he's going to be out close to uh, about nine yards, uh, one, short, one yard shy. Glazebrook picks up nine tough ones. 2.51 clock running. Second down one. Ball on the uh, West Branch 45. Pitch to Stout again, cuts it back inside, still on his feet, cuts it to the middle, and he could be gone. He could be gone. Down the left side, and that's going to be, uh, we have another flag. Kevin Stout having another tough night. That one called back on a clipping penalty, so that's his second touchdown callback. He had three back last week. So uh, second down, 14 now. Ball all the way back to the bare 30. This time straight up the middle, and that's going to be for about four. Third and 10 here, and we have an equipment failure, so uh, Iowa Valley is going to be forced to put somebody in for number 14, uh, Nathan Nolte. We've got a third and 11. Big play here for the Bears. Number 87 for uh, Iowa Valley, uh, John Hansen coming in. We have McNamara wide to the left. Big third down play here for the Bears. They've already had two touchdowns called back on this particular drive. Feeding in motion left. Back to throw. Gordon has time. Nice pass out there. McNamara's there. Good reception at the at the Iowa Valley 38-yard line. No flags. Right, 34-yard uh, pass play from uh, Gordon to McNamara. Nice throw. Great catch by McNamara right inside the sidelines. Beating in motion to the right. Gordon fakes the handoff. Has plenty of room. Tucks it back inside, and he's going to have some yards and makes a nice little move on his feet down to about the Iowa Valley 23-yard line. Pick up a first and 10 on the Iowa Valley 23-yard line. After a nice run there by Gordon, give him 15 yards on that. Hand off to Stout, cuts it inside, nice hole, back outside. Out of bounds at about the, uh, we're going to call it 14. We thought uh, Stout had the first down, but he had eight. That's second down, two here, ball on the uh, 14. Hand off to Glazebrook, and holy cow, he's down to about the four. Bears pick up another first down. Peden in motion to the left. Ball on the three-yard line. Glazebrook behind his blockers. Touchdown, Bears. Touchdown, Bears. Bears are going to go for two here, leading 19 to nothing with a minute 17 to go. Gordon fakes it and has some blockers out there. Fakes the throw, cuts it back inside, and he's got the two. Got the kickoff for the Bears. Bears lead 21 to nothing with 117 to go first half. Iowa Valley takes it on their own 15. That's Fletcher. Johnson up the right side, and he's going to be out and down at about the 34. All right, Iowa Valley set to go here. First and 10 ball on their own 34. That last drive by the Bears was uh, 76 yards, six running plays. Gordon, one of one in the passing department, that being the big pass to uh, uh, McNamara, and capped off with a three-yard run by Glazebrook. Hand off over the left side, number 34. Uh, Bear has him, and uh, Dan Peterson comes in, and down he goes at about the 30. Yeah, I know. 25 seconds, clock running here. Dan Peterson gets up real slow after making that last uh, stop. Second down, 10. A uh, lot of misdirection. That's Johnson. Boy, he's hit. Down he goes with uh, 13 seconds. I got a few stats here for you before we uh, start this second half. Uh, Bears had eight first downs that first half. They had 30 yards in penalties. They had 20 running plays, and we had Gordon one for two in the passing department uh, for 34 yards. In the rushing department, we had uh, Glazebrook seven carries for 52, Stout uh, ten carry or nine carries for 106, Gordon three carries for six, and Peden two carries for 13. 
Uh, real good first half. Bears scored on three of their uh, five possessions. Iowa Valley fumbles the ball at about their, uh, we'll call it 18, and picks it back up, and uh, number 45, John Smith. Iowa Valley starts the second half on their own 24-yard line. Good kick coverage by the special teams, the Bears. First play of the second half. Hand off over the right side, and uh, he's got some running room, and number 31, Kevin Stout, makes a nice uh, tackle. Give Iowa Valley four on that first uh, first down carry. Second down, six. Ball at about on the 26, 27 yard line. Handoff right up the middle to number 34, Brent Brawl for maybe a couple. Yeah, it is. As we said before, a good crowd from West Branch here tonight. Quick pitch to the right. Spangler's uh, being held, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be called. All right, Iowa Valley not going to punt here on fourth and one. Bears dig in. Quarterback sneak, and he's going to have the first down. Sean O'Neill and Mike Sneeders go out for the Bears. Kyle Jones comes in. Iowa Valley picks up their first first down of the second half. They had two the first half. Hand off over the right side, and boy, Mike Oliver nails him immediately. Mike Oliver does a great job there for uh, throwing the Iowa Valley back for a two-yard loss. So it's second and 12 here with 8.41 to go third quarter. Bears ahead, 21 to nothing. Hand off straight up the middle, and uh, number 32, Glazebrook, uh, has the tackle. Third down and eight for Iowa Valley. Very cold here tonight. Temperature's probably down in the high 20s. Miller back to throw under a heavy rush. Under a heavy rush, and that's uh, number 17, Spangler. Give Mike Oliver credit on that last tackle also. So it's fourth and 16. Iowa Valley to punt from their own 16-yard line. Under a heavy rush, they almost get the punter. Ball hits at the uh, West Branch 46. Stout picks it up and uh, gets out to about the uh, West Branch 43. Kevin Stout picked that ball up and picked up a few extra yards. Uh, a lot of courage in that young man. He's just really a, a great young man. He's had uh, five touchdowns called back in two weeks, but you never hear him complain. They're set to go here. Glazebrook picks up a yard, second down, nine. Gordon uh, pitches late to Stout. He's around that right end, and here he goes again. Here he goes, cuts it outside, and he could be gone. Puts his head down. He's down to nine, the eight, the seven. Fifty-one yards on that carry by Stout. Man, what a what a great night he's having. First and goal Bears, uh, they spot the ball around the five-yard line. Hand off to Glazebrook straight ahead, and he's going to get maybe a tough, maybe two tough yards there. Number 21, Andy Messenger, brings the play in for the Bears. Stout and Glazebrook still in the backfield along with Gordon and Peden. Hand off to uh, Glazebrook. He's still on his feet, still on his feet. Touchdown, Bears! Touchdown, Bears! That was a 57-yard drive and four plays all on the ground. It kicks up. Sorensen really gets a leg into it this time, and it's good. Bears lead 28 to nothing with 5.56 to go third quarter. Stout tees the ball up for the Bears. That'll, as we said before, that last uh, drive, 57 yards, four uh, running plays. Capped off of the three-yard run by Glazebrook. Stout's kick uh, hits at about the uh, Iowa Valley, 24. Picked up there by number uh, five for Iowa Valley. That's Johnson, and boy, is he hit. Let's see who that was. Number two, David Scott. After the nice tackle by Scott, Iowa Valley will start at their own 30. 5.41 to go, third quarter. Bears ahead 28 to nothing at this uh, juncture. Hand off over the right side, and boy, there's Mike Oliver. Get Cliff out of there, get Cliff out of there. Oh, cold Cliff is going apart. All right, uh, Kyle Jones in for Cliff Bowie in that defensive line. No. Second down, nine. Hand off over the left side. Boy, he stood up, and there he goes. 57, Jason Hubler in on that tackle. 
Iowa Valley faced with a third and seven. They had 16 running plays in that first half. They were one for three in the passing department. Two first downs and 10 yards in penalties. Big third down play for them here in the second half. The back falls down, so the quarterback's uh, going to be uh, mauled here. Iowa Valley faced with a fourth and five here. They'll be punting from their own 20. I'd still watch some kind of a fake, but no, they do. They hike it away. That's Tremendous kick by Iowa Valley. Stout waves fair catch at about the West Branch 35. Does a nice job of catching the football. Bears set to go on their own 35. Second possession of the second half. They had five possessions in the first half, scored on three of them. This time Gordon pitches late to Glazebrook. He turns the corner, puts his head down, and he's going to be forward for about seven. All right, Glazebrook getting most of the action here this second half. That's his fourth carry. It's just like thunder and lightning. It thunders a while and then lightning strikes. Beating in motion to the left. There goes lightning. Just shy of the first down. Uh, we'll give him 10 on that carry anyway. Young man having a great night. We have him clear up to about 170 yards at this point. Glazebrook with around 70. Peden in motion to the right. Gordon back to throw. Sets, throws, downfield, has McNamara across, and it's intercepted by Johnson at the uh, Iowa Valley 25, and he's got a uh, free run down the right side here. Number two, David Scott is the guy that gets him. Gordon throws his second interception of the evening. This time Johnson takes it all the way back to the West Branch 31 and uh, David Scott made a saving tackle. 147 to go, third quarter, Bears ahead 28-0. Hand off straight over the middle, number 34, and boy, he gets about seven or eight yards. Second and four for Iowa Valley. We had them with two first downs in the first half. They've got one first down in the second half, so they've got three first downs for the entire game. Down to about the West Branch 24. Back falls down, and uh, number uh, 60, uh, Cliff Bowie, in there immediately. Give Mike Oliver some credit on that last tackle also. He was underneath that big old Cliff Bowie. Couldn't even see him. 36 seconds to go, third quarter, third and five. Hand off over the left side, and this time uh, Jason Huber is there. Fourth and five here for Iowa Valley. Cliff Bowie playing inspired ball at this time. He was over on that side making the tackle. Along with John Sorensen helping out. And we have a timeout. No, that's the end of the third quarter. Iowa Valley, fourth and four. They've had, this is their third possession. Their first one, they had seven plays and punted. Second one, they had three plays and punted. This is the fourth play of their third possession. Ball on the West Branch, 25. They need to get across the 20. First play of the fourth quarter. Throws over the middle, and uh, great play there. Number 21, Andy Messenger does a nice job on the coverage. They're set to go on their own 25. This is their third possession. They started the first possession on their own 43, the second one on their own 35, and now this one starts on their own 25. Gordon back to throw, a little quick pitch in the middle to Peden. He stumbles and uh, gets down that left side. He's still on his feet out to about the West Branch 44. Shane Peden very quietly doing a nice job. He picks up 20 yards on that last carry. Bears pick up their fourth first down. This time they hand off to Stout. He's through there and uh, still going, oh my goodness, he's out. Cuts it back inside. He's down to about the Iowa Valley 34. Stout picks up 25 on that last carry. He's picking it up in bunches here. First and 10 on about the Iowa Valley 34. This time to Peden and there's a fumble, but I think he might have got it back. Yeah, Peden gets his own fumble back, second down and six. Quick pitch to the right side to McNamara. He cuts it back inside. Still on his feet, still on his feet. Down to a... McNamara picks up a first down, 17 yards on that carry. 10-22 to go, Bears ahead, 28-0. Peden in motion to the left. Hand off to Glazebrook, big hole right up the middle, still on his feet. Bears pick up their seventh first down. 
Lazebrook gets uh, 13 big ones. Sorensen brings the play in for the Bears. Hand off to Stouty, straight ahead. Touchdown, Bears. Touchdown, Bears. Sorensen in to attempt the extra point. That was a 75-yard drive by the Bears. Six plays, all on the ground. Spots down, kicks up. Sorensen gets a lot of leg into it, and it's good. 34-0 Bears with, uh, excuse me, 35-0 with 9.48. For 77, Cody Gordon in to kick for the Bears. That was the Bears' fifth touchdown. Stout had a 46-yard run, then Stout had a five-yard run. Blaisbrook a three-yard run. Blaisbrook another three-yard run, and then Stout a three-yard run. Taken by Iowa Valley at about their 20. And up the left side, still on his feet, a tremendous hit there. Cody Gordon, the uh, West Branch kicker, was injured on that last play. Took a vicious hit, a head-on hit. He made a saving tackle at the uh, Iowa Valley uh, 45. But it's, uh, he's been down for about five minutes. It was good to see him get up and walk off under his own power. Sweep to the right by uh, Iowa Valley, and they're going to get maybe five. As we said before the game, we've had the two leading passers in the uh, district here tonight, but passing really hasn't been a factor. Gordon just one of three in uh, Iowa Valley, one of four. Hand off for the right side, number one, Mike Oliver. Third and seven. Their defense doing a really good job here tonight. Ball in the Iowa Valley, 47. Back to throw, has a man going deep, and it's way overthrown. Just looking, we really believe that there's more West Branch fans here than Iowa Valley fans, believe that one or not. Iowa Valley goes for it, no, they're gonna punt. Ball's down at the 35, punted away on an angle, hits at the Bear, 28, Stout lets it roll, a good decision by Stout, it's gonna go all the way to the Bear, 11 yard line. On 11, Peterson, Grimm, and Scott on the right side. Bowie and uh, Jason Huber on that left side, along with McNamara. 7.47 to go. Handoff over the right side. Nice hole there for Sean O'Neill, number nine in the backfield. Sean O'Neill, uh, fine young junior, gets his first carry evening, picks up six yards, so it's second and four. Handoff to number 33, Jeremy Clayton. And he's on his feet all the way out to the uh, West Branch uh, 30, we'll call it 34 yard line. Jeremy Clayton picks up 15 yards on his first carry. So you're getting a look here at some of the uh, good young backs coming up for the Bears. Bears pick up uh, another first down. We have them with eight in the second half, 16 for the game. Hand off to Clayton and boy, he is running hard. Number 63, Kirk Anderson leads him out of the huddle and that's a young man we don't really mention a lot but it's doing a great job for the Bears. First and 10 Bears on their own 46. Hand off to number 24 for the Bears, Mike Sneeders. Mike Sneeders got his first carry of the night. Back on the field now, second down, we'll call it two. Number 80 for the Bears, Mike Gingrich in motion, we have a flag. Bears signaled for a illegal participation. What I think happened is we had a player go off the field and come back on. You can't do that. You must set out a play. Second down and eight. Sneeders in motion. Gordon rolls right, has a man open. Keeps it himself, tucks it back in, stays on his feet, and gets a nice block, and we have a flag. We're just about to say this was a pretty much penalty-free second half, and now the Bears all of a sudden pick up their second penalty. That was a 15-yard clipping penalty. Gives them a second and 12. Now we have another flag. Joel Carrillo in at uh, center now for the Bears, and uh, we have an illegal procedure penalty, so now it's second and 17. Gingrich in motion to the left, Gordon back to throw, under heavy pressure, throws a screen out here to uh, Spangler, and he has some room to run, puts his head down, and who takes a vicious hit down to about the Iowa Valley 46 yard line. Jason Spangler doing a nice job uh, after the catch on the run there. Third and four Bears. Number 24 for the Bears. Sneeders in motion to the left. Hand off inside, nice tackle there by Iowa Valley. <laughs> Fourth and two here for West Branch. Ball on the Iowa Valley, 45. 3.50 to go in this football game. Hand off to O'Neill, and it looks like he's gonna be stopped short. Once again, Iowa Valley starts on their own 45. Well, we have a second here. We have Kevin Stout uh, with 195 yards on the evening. We've got Glazebrook with 82. 
Hand off over the left side, and the Iowa Valley back kind of stops before he even gets going there. We got the Bears with nine first downs in this second half, 17 for the game. These are all unofficial, of course, but we we'll hope we're close. Second down after the no gain, still uh, ball still on the Iowa Valley uh, 45. Uh, nice run here by number 32. Number 70, Jeremy Oxley, and number 74, Jerry Exline in for the Bears now on that defensive line. Jason Spangler in on that last tackle. Sorensen, McNamara, Stout, Messenger still in defensive backfield. Third down and four. Ball just over the 50. Nice run here by Iowa Valley. Messenger makes a tackle at the Bear 40. Three to go in this game. Spangler, Grimm, Oliver. Oxley. X line, that defensive line for the Bears. Number 80 for the Bears. Mike Gingrich in that uh, defensive backfield back to throw. Looks long, has a man open. And uh, number 80, Gingrich almost has the interception. Second down for Iowa Valley. Ball still on the Bears 45 with 138 to go. Number 32 uh, puts his head down, but number 32 for the Bears, Gladys Brooks puts a stop on him. Sneeders and Gingrich in the defensive backfield now for the Bears. Third down, we have a whistle. <laughs> 102 to go, third down and uh, six. Back to throw, looks long, has Johnson out there. Nice catch by Johnson at the West Branch 17 yard line. 57, Jason Huber now in that defensive line. Iowa Valley picks up their third first down of this uh, second half. That's their fifth of the game. They want to stick one in here. They're going, to, going deep again. Has a man wide open. That's touchdown, Iowa Valley. Iowa Valley scores with uh, 51 seconds to go in this football game. That was a 55-yard drive. Seven plays. 17-yard pass play to score. Go for the two points, and it's going to be incomplete. To go, we're going to see the onside, and it's a good one. And uh, we don't know who got it for the Bears, but uh, they did safely hold on to the football. For seven, Matt Wheeler now in at quarterback for the Bears. Nice to see that young man in the football game. 30 seconds to go. This could possibly be the last play of the football game. Hand off over the right side. That's number nine, Sean O'Neill, doing a nice job still on his feet. All right, that's going to be the end of the football game as the clock runs down and the Bears win this thing 35-6 to at Iowa Valley. And it's a big victory for the Bears. This was no bad Iowa Valley team, a very good Iowa Valley football team, but the Bears uh, took it to them early and uh, had a few penalties that cost them some touchdowns, but uh, it's still a victory. And the streak is alive. The streak's now at 20, the longest winning streak in the state. Any class, class 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, something to be very proud of for the Bears and the West Branch fans. And uh, we'll see you next week back at the friendly confines of Oliphant Street Field where the Bears will play BGM and try to keep the streak alive as they uh, head for the state playoffs. We'll see.